Welcome to ADTV for Tuesday, July 31st, 2012. I'm Laura Vandermeer and here's what's happening in the Mid-Valley today. Well, flames are tearing through vegetation along the Feather River today with three acres burned so far just north of the 10th Street Bridge. Fire officials said it flared up in a spot where there was a previous fire, one that firefighters thought they had extinguished this morning. Firefighters were unable to access the flames because of that thick vegetation. They surrounded it from three sides. The fire is burning in an area along Willow Island with known homeless encampments. However, the area is believed to be vacated. And a major project is underway to replace the intake station responsible for pumping water from the Feather River to the taps of Yuba City residents. The existing intake station was built in the late 60s and no longer meets requirements for the city's water rights. Its replacement will meet those requirements while improving the city's access to the river and being more fish friendly. The price tag for that project is $4.5 million. We're now at less than a month before the Enterprise Rancheria's fate will be known. A pending decision from Governor Jerry Brown is due by August 31st. Cheryl Schmidt from Stand Up for California, a gaming watchdog group, says she believes that even if the governor approves the casino, lawsuits could be filed against it in both state and federal court after a Supreme Court decision earlier this year allowed for such suits. A spokesman for the tribe says it's hopeful for the final result and taking the process one step at a time and doesn't fault the governor for taking nearly a year to weigh the project's merits. And our pet of the week is Cora. She's a spayed black and tan chihuahua mix about three to four years old. Cora is very playful and loves kids, being on laps and snuggling. She is both crate and potty trained and she gets along with other dogs and cats. If you're interested in adopting Cora, please email info at rescuepaws.org or call 530-755-2801. And River Valley High School's Jackie Tanner has been named the Appeal Democrats All-Area Female Athlete of the Year. Our sports writer cited her intensity and dedication in three sports, volleyball, basketball, and softball, in awarding the honor. Check out the story in today's Appeal Democrat and don't miss tomorrow's AD as we unveil our pick for Male Athlete of the Year. And check out the food page in tomorrow's AD for a cooling dessert on a hot summer day. Refrigerator or icebox cakes combine layers of chilled fruit, cool cream, and a bit of cake, making the perfect antidote to a steamy summer evening here in the Mid Valley. Recipes for a colorful poached salmon dish, pork and rice, and fish tacos round out the section. That's your ADTV webcast for Tuesday, July 31st, 2012. For updates on these stories and more, go to appealdemocrat.com or pick up a copy of the AD, your Yuba Center newsletter at your favorite newsstand.